Thousands of mourners have come for the ceremony, many marching from the communities where the boys are from. These are live pictures uh, from Modin in Israel, where the funeral is taking place. A number of officials also present. CNN's Ben Wiedemann is following the story from outside Hebron. That's near where the bodies were found uh, yesterday. He joins us live with more. Um, first of all, what are we expecting to hear from the Israeli Prime Minister when he gives his eulogy at the funeral for these boys? Certainly, uh, Fanula, we've heard uh, words already from the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu uh, just before an emergency security cabinet meeting last night. Uh, he said that the hearts of all Israelis are bleeding and the entire country is crying uh, for the families of the three boys whose bodies were discovered just on this hillside uh, behind me. Uh, he's going to be speaking as well as Israeli President Shimon uh, Perez. The, cover the country has really been riveted uh, for the last 19 days on this story uh, after the late at night on the 12th of June the three boys uh, went missing and uh, certainly what we've seen is an outpouring of grief and also anger uh, following uh, the news yesterday that their bodies had been uh, discovered so we expect thousands to be at that funeral and emotional words not only from uh, the president the prime minister but also relatives as well. Funula. Um, ben, where you are there in Hebron, near Hebron, it's one of the most charged cities in the West Bank at the best of times, um, but tensions very, very high between the two communities. Um, what are the Palestinians there bracing for? Well, they've already seen overnight that uh, two homes were demolished. These are homes uh, belonging to Marwan Kowasme and Amar Abu Ayesh. These are two people who the Israeli authorities believe uh, were behind the kidnapping and murder of the three Israeli teenagers. The Israel so, and, and really overnight there was a very large Israeli military presence in and around Hebron and also the town of Halhul uh, to the north of there. So people are really very much staying in inside keeping a low profile uh, as uh, there's still a large Israeli military presence not only in the city uh, but also in the hills around us. We just uh, drove by a little while ago, must have seen about 40 to 50 Israeli uh, soldiers combing the hillsides looking for uh, further evidence or clues that might lead them to the uh, kidnappers in this case.